Hey, welcome to the channel. We are in Chama, New Mexico. I got Janet with me, of course. Now, she's not on camera that often, but here she is. <laughs> but anyway, we are in uh, New Mexico at a pretty cool RV park. Second time we've stayed here, we stayed here last year as well. We've been in Colorado for a few days, uh, headed back to Texas right now. But this is our two-year anniversary of a leisure travel van and two years of RVing. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to grab Janet. I wanted her to tell you guys, after two years, what you love about it, what you hate about it, and if you would do it all over again with a leisure travel van. So first of all, leisure travel van again. Would you do it? Would you do it again? Yes. yes. You would. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Thumbs up. Absolutely, absolutely love our leisure travel van. So now then, if you would do it again, let's get into the nitty gritty. What do you love about it? Uh, I guess what I love the most about it is the shower. Because I didn't, wow. yes, I didn't okay. realize, I didn't know what to think because mm -hmm. I'd never really RV'd before or mm -hmm. even been in a RV. Because um, I really thought that the water pressure and was going to be kind of dripping out. And I thought, okay. oh great, how am I going to shampoo my hair? Um, so I like that and it's mm -hmm. for my size it's perfect yeah um, I like um, for us taller folks it's a little more yeah, of a challenge but yeah. you know but you're I like it I, five, I like four, the skylight and, yeah um, let's see what else now you like when we're what about when we're driving I think that's that you'd say you like that right driving yeah when we're driving yes I love that I love the convenience of of the um, convenience of just being able to walk back just for a second to mm -hmm. give you something to drink or if the girls need water they can zip back there and get them water mm -hmm. or um, I like I like just the convenience of everything being right there yeah um, yeah now I definitely don't condone somebody just you know cooking no. lunch or something while and you're usually driving you'll but let me do that when it's a straight shot when yeah there's not a lot of traffic and yeah definitely um, most of the time I'm sitting up there with you and we do have Roxy on my lap because she's the boss. Yeah, and where'd she so, go? There she yeah. is, she's right there, she, she's on um, the table. She has got to be constantly on my lap. Yeah, um, Gracie's, Gracie is in the um, in the van. She was yeah. uh, she was wanting to be in the picture too much so we put her in the van, poor girl. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, now you have not driven it. Two years you have not driven no, it. No, not yet. But do you think you could drive it? I think I could, yeah. I don't know about parking, Right. but I could drive it. Yeah, so Janet actually, uh, whenever she's driving her vehicle, she does not use the camera. She does not look at the screen. She still turns her head and looks behind her. So you definitely could not back that thing up because there's no turn your head. Right. Look at but that. But I'm, I'm trying to learn to yeah. trust that camera. <laughs> the camera is what the camera is. I know. It drives me insane, but she's <laughs> anyway. So funny. Yeah, but the overall comfort and everything. I mean, you're mm -hmm. always, you know, you're, you like road trips, so you mm -hmm. enjoy it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. What about the kitchen? What do you like about the kitchen? Oh, the kitchen? I like the the space. Mm -hmm. I, I thought at first too it was going to be too small, but it is small. you learn to only pack what you need. You right. learn to kind of nest things in. Um, mm -hmm. I got some stackable or uh, collapsible bowls yeah, that work important. really well. Mm -hmm. um, and don't carry a ton. Like you know, at first, I think when we first got it, you were putting all kinds of stuff in there. Yeah. And obviously we never hardly use any no. of it, right? No. Um, also a rookie mistake you made was you got real silverware that rattles. Mm -hmm. So we got now, we, now this we plastic, plastic Lexan type stuff. Yeah, really and cool then you stuff. found some that were um, three in one. It's a mm -hmm. knife, a spoon, and a fork that work really well. Mm -hmm. So we use those. Um, yeah, I like see. those. Yeah, and then we got the little um, air fryer. Oh yeah, the air fryer. That yeah, this is really our well. first trip with the air fryer. Um, we got the, uh, uh, the smallest one. I think it's a Bella brand I got on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I mean, not Facebook, Amazon. Mm -hmm. I saw it. Uh, somebody on the Facebook uh, LTV group uh, had recommended it. So I grabbed that mm -hmm. and then we just cooked chicken in it. Perfect. 15 minutes. Absolutely perfect chicken mm -hmm. um, and so because I don't really get we carry a Blackstone with us. I don't really use it though to be honest with you. Well, I think if we were to stay at a park longer than you know one or two nights mm -hmm. we probably would but yeah. with the way we've been traveling lately it's just been one stop at a time so, so I think easier that's a little, yeah it's yeah. easier to get you know meals that are yeah. easy to prepare mm -hmm. so with the kitchen now like we were both in there preparing you know food and it is small so you do need to prepare for that in a leisure travel van um, and so but overall 
we love the FX because it has the two living areas. Now the bathroom is extreme. You said you like the shower. Mm -hmm. However, the rest of the bathroom, tiny, tiny, tiny. tiny. The, the sink is really small. Yeah. Um, the door is kind of awkward at times. Yeah, it you don't like latch. the door. I don't like the door either. Right. They yeah. have a new door in the new model, 22 yeah. models. So. Yeah. We didn't get that. But but uh, other than that, I don't think there's anything that I re absolutely just hate, hate, because it is a nice... Okay, so let's talk about what you don't like. What do, what do you not like about the Leisure Travel Van? What do you, what do you dread about being in the Leisure Travel Van? Mm, I don't think there's anything that I just would say I absolutely can't stand it. Mm -hmm. I think the recliner in the chair, um, the passenger, chair could probably be a little more comfortable okay so when we're driving you yeah you can't really you can't recline because, because our wardrobe is right behind that yes and i think that you could chip it really easy i think we almost did when we first got it not yeah. not realizing that if you went all the way back with it that it, you could chip it okay that's so i mean but not all yeah. floor plans have that wardrobe right there so it may not affect everybody but in the fx it does mm -hmm. okay so but overall the size you don't mind the size then not at all. I mean, I think it would be great if it was if it was just you and I. It would be perfect. Well, it is just you have, and I. But we have the two dogs. Okay, the two dogs. Yeah. And that makes a big difference. Yeah, it does a little bit. Yeah. Especially I mean, with our white interior that we got on the seats and everything. Mm -hmm. um, it looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, except for two dogs, you have to keep it covered and you have to yeah. constantly be cleaning. Yeah. But other than that. Hold on. Let me get this a little brighter. Sun's going down. Hold on. Make sure this is going right. There we go. Okay, how's that? There, thumbs up. Okay, okay. sorry about so that. So other than the having to constantly keep the, the white interior right. seats covered, I think everything else would be perfect. Yeah, so we use bath mats, like carpet, bath carpets to that are white that, you know. That I can just wash. The, yeah, they sit on there. The wash, because the yeah. second Gracie, Roxy not so much, the second Gracie goes in, she goes upstairs directly to the couch. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. let's talk Murphy bed. You, I know you, I, you do mine, cause you're the one, I, I bring it down, but you're the one that puts it up mm -hmm. because you put it up while I'm taking the dogs well, you, out. Right. Because right. Gracie again, all muddy, would come yes. in and go straight for the bed, yes. which yeah. that would be not yeah. good. Yeah. So you put it up, so tell me about that. You, I mean, you're only five foot four, so I um, mean, is it hard? It's not too bad, you, you know, you've got to, um, Put the cushions back underneath the little compartment mm -hmm. it, it goes in and that that sometimes can be a little you got to wiggle it a little bit just to kind of mm -hmm. put them in and out that but it's not too bad um it's not bad bringing the the whole bed up and latching it on the sides yeah that's not too bad the only problem we have had is twice our pillows have fallen through right. the crack so i've had to kind of yeah maneuver so myself in so to, the mat yeah when them. the bed's down you have the mattress and then there is about a 12 inch uh, panel uh, that's actually ultra leather that is behind um, that is is behind the, the, the thing. So whenever you, there's a gap there. So when you're pulling the bed up, that gap gets wider, pillows go straight down mm -hmm. and your phone one time. Mm -hmm. yep. And it took us a little bit to figure out. So here's a tip. If you have MB or FX with a Murphy bed, I actually have to put her in it I bring it up, I sandwich her in there so she can reach down there and, and it grab up. it. Because once you pull it up, there's a huge gap where yeah. you could just pull it But up. you gotta yeah. be laying in the in the yeah. crease and I pull it up and you yes. know, I could yeah. be mean and leave you there. But yeah. uh but leisure <laughs> travel van if you're if you're you know, make that panel in the back, have it on a hinge where you can pick it up and just get down there that's, and that's pick a good up. idea. Yeah. yeah. But I was, but I found that if you just put the sheets and the comforter over the pillows mm -hmm. when you're making it then when you pull it up, you've got the, you're not going to slip through you because you're kind of in a little pocket. No, that's a good tip. Yeah, so that works out. Uh, that hasn't, hasn't happened again. All right, so um, now then when we're driving down the road, we are both, we hate the squeaking or we hate clinging, clattering or whatever. So what do you do to make sure that there is nothing that's rattling in the back while we're driving? Because I know you mess some stuff, right? Yeah, I use the placemats for our uh, glasses um, up at the top of the cabinet. Mm -hmm. Kind of just do that. And then um, what else do we use in the drawers? Um, well, those, I mean, the can, the stuff that you put. What is, what oh, is koozies. Yes. You yeah, you those, take koozies and you put stuff in there. I put the utensils and stuff and I kind of nest mm -hmm. all that in there. Uh, so, yeah, I've learned kind of how yeah. to. Because I hate rattling. 
Yeah. And then the TV, I, I found a little, um, so our TV has a, uh, you know, it has a latch, so it comes out, so it's on a swivel, so it'll come out and it'll turn, all of these things, right? But whenever it's latched for driving, it will squeak, it's the loudest mm -hmm. squeak and rattle you will ever hear. Mm -hmm. So you definitely, definitely don't want to latch it. So what I did is I got a, uh, a, a, a bungee, bungee cord mm -hmm. and I just wrap it around and wrap, and I'll show it on video here mm -hmm. where you can see. But that has, I mean, that changed yeah. our lives because I, we constantly battled that rattle right behind our heads. Mm -hmm. That was terrible. All right, so now you have, of course you've never driven it, which, you know, at some point you will, I would imagine um on a very straight non-windy day <laughs> and right. then but you also have not put everything you haven't set it up like water or electricity which i do plan on showing you how to do that it's just always been i always do that she always takes care of everything on the inside and then on the reverse mm -hmm. i put everything up on the outside you put everything up on the inside tell us about what you do on the inside because you have to make sure that all kinds of stuff are Yes, I make sure that the um, vent is closed in the restroom. Yeah, that's a big one because you can forget to do that. Yes. Because yeah. we keep the, you know, when you shower, you want to keep that fan going to get the humidity out of there. Mm -hmm. So, then... so yeah, I dry down the shower real good and, and then I uh, make sure that everything's closed in there. Um, you have to make sure the door is is kind of latched too. Yep. If not, mm -hmm. it'd be swinging uh, when you're driving. Yep. Pantry. Make sure the pantry is um, locked and the little button's pushed in. Make sure all the cabinets That's are... That's probably what we forget to do the most is yeah. push that little button in and then the pantry will swing open yeah. whenever you yeah. turn. And then the drawers will... Drawers will, too. Will pull out too. Yeah. Um, if you're not real careful. Yeah. And so what else? Oh, the uh, skylights. Make sure that all that is Yeah, all the skylights done. are done. Yeah. And then um, I do plan on showing you how to do everything, but you know how to... Obviously, you know how to turn on the water pump. You somewhat know a little bit about the inverter. Do you know what the inverter does again? Do you remember that? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you talking about it all the time. That turns the battery on so that you well, can run I've the coffee heard you machine. Talk about the battery. Quite there you a bit. go. Yeah, of course. So, yeah, we have the yeah. Lithionics 315, so we can run our coffee machine, air conditioner, everything. Uh, so we we did That's today. That's convenient because yeah. then we can just pull over on the side of the. Yeah, turn our air conditioner on, especially where. In generators are not welcome yeah. which is basically everywhere these that's days that's been a blessing having that convenience yeah. i must say or we can leave the dogs in leave the yes. air conditioner on and silent yes. not drawing attention to it and all that stuff yes. and everything uh but yeah so but yeah water pump you know you know how to turn the inverter on because i'll say go turn the inverter on and you can do that mm -hmm. uh have you ever done the slide or anything I don't think you've ever no. even done the slide or mm -hmm. the levelers none mm -hmm. of that no. okay so no. i got a job i gotta teach her how to do all of it right so then um let's talk about we talked about yet what you don't like which is the bathroom door the small bathroom sink but overall you would do a leisure travel van all over again absolutely okay yes. yes now then let's just give a little preview right quick because at the end of this month we're getting our second rv in addition to the leisure travel van not getting rid of the leisure travel van in addition to we're getting a towable you're gonna have so much more room kitchen's going to be not a ton bigger but a lot bigger what are you looking forward to in all of that i'm excited I, you know it's going to be a new experience and i won't be able to know until i get inside it we only you know you took me to see it once mm -hmm. and it was not I, I don't remember a whole lot about it but um but i'm excited and once i get in yeah then i'll kind of yeah you know a lot, a lot more storage yeah so leisure travel vans storage is an issue you know and i'll kind of go in what i don't like about the leisure travel van and that is the some of the outside storage i do think that the uh on the on the on the driver's side uh they have two separate storage bays when it could be one long one they have the sewer hose um uh, in the middle yeah the sewer hose um, holder in the middle and i don't use it because it won't fit my rhino hose uh all of y'all are laughing because probably you have a macerator i didn't do the macerator but uh, I still use gravity. But anyway, um, again, I wish that was all one long one. Uh, but what I do love about it, I love the size. We took a wrong turn the other day. I went to, to, I was supposed to go left to get fuel. I turned right, and we were down this county road, and I just U-turned, right? Mm -hmm. If we were in a towable, in a Class A, who knows how many miles you'd had to find something, right? 
So I absolutely love that I can just zip around yeah. like it is a car. I mean, yeah. literally. You are right, because yeah. sometimes you're driving and I'm like, wow, we made that turn. And I mean, it, their turning yeah, radius I mean, on it is yeah. phenomenal. It's amazing. And then um, also, I just absolutely love being able to pull off the side of the road. We travel for six hours a day generally. Stop halfway, let the dogs out, um, have a little lunch, and we just pop out of the chairs. The kitchen's there. I get the dogs out. You're cooking lunch or you're fixing lunch, whatever we're having. Mm -hmm. um, we can turn on that air conditioner, and it's so easy. I will miss that on at that convenience when we get the new uh, towable because we'll have to get out of the truck, unlock the trailer, yes. go in, yep. turn everything yep. on. So I will, I will miss the convenience of just popping out mm -hmm. of the chair and mm -hmm. all of that stuff. But overall, two years of leisure travel van, I wouldn't do it any different. I am so glad we did not get the Class A. So glad we chose leisure travel van. So glad I found them. Um, and um, but yeah, I'm, I'm I'm happy. But I think that's that's about it, right? Mm -hmm. So that's Janet's take on two years of leisure travel van owner. So. Uh, I guess we'll wrap it up here. We're headed back to Texas tomorrow. But if this is the first time on the channel for you, please hit that subscribe button, the little bell, and then also the thumbs up. It really helps the algorithm of this channel as we continue to grow it. Hopefully these videos have been helpful to you. But with that being said, we're out of here. Bye-bye.